Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this uh, Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert a NURBS surface, which I have made in Rhino and internalized that into Grasshopper, uh, into a 3D space frame by defining a number for the U count, a V count, and a height, which can be positive and negative. Uh, we're going to make that from scratch without any plugin and with the native Grasshopper components. Uh, then we can define the bottom lines, the top lines, and also the web links. Okay, let's get started uh, from scratch and assume that this is the surface we want to work with and we want to make the space frame. Uh, first, I'm going to go to the surface utility and use the ISO trim. So the ISO trim can be go to the surface and this ISO trim is going to divide the surface into a number of UV divisions. So I'm going to go to the math domain and use this divide domain tool to divide the surface. Usually this uh, surface ISO trim divide domain two is a useful way of dividing a surface into a UV count. So for example, I can say three to 12 and we can give that to the UV count and delete the title. So it's going to be the number of divisions of the UV. Uh, okay, the problem with the isotrim component is that these uh, surfaces are uh, curved and we just want to uh, convert that into a complete line. So what we have to do is to uh, first of all go to the surface and deconstruct the B rep. And when I give it to the surface, you can see it's going to give you the face edges and vertices. Uh, so we're going to work with the edges first. And if I just connect a curve to it, you can see it here. Uh, because each of those surfaces has uh, a curve, it's going to be multiplied. So both of them has that. Uh, to delete that, I'm going to flatten all of those edges so they are going to be in one group. What I usually use is a curve and a middle to extract a point from the curve and then I go to the vector point and uh, use this called duplicates and I usually select the leave one so it just uh, selects only one of the points and here you can see that we have the index of all of the edges. So let's go to the set list item and pick up all of the edges with this index. So that is the way uh, you can convert uh, 100 edges into 60 because uh, they have been deleted and only a unique edge has been selected. Uh, the next part is to convert it into a line. So I usually go to the curve and say endpoints. We have the start and the end, and we can select the line component, which connects the start and the end. That is going to give us the lines. So this is going to be the bottom uh, lines for the surface divided in a UV division. 